Louisiana Beer Reviews, Moa Imperial Stout. It says this is a flavored ale. It doesn't say that on the website. It says on the bottle, 10.2 ounces, 12.7 ounce bottle, a product of New Zealand. The company was founded in 2003. This was purchased for me in the Woodlands, Texas by Paul. Thank you very much, Paul. I appreciate it. I already tried the St. Joseph's from uh, Moa, which was very good. <clears throat> Since I'm having something so highly rated, for instance, Rate Beer gives it a 94 out of 100, 42 out of 100 for the style, so kind of low for the style, but with only 92 ratings. Beer Advocate gives it an average rating, but with only 25 reviews. But since I'm having something so fine, this is aged in Pinot Noir barrels, I thought I would have it with something fine to eat. Marishan ramen noodles. Okay beef flavor. Already took the cage off. Hopefully I'll be able to take the... <laughs> oh yeah, the cork's coming out. Not so easy. Well, for all that effort, it better be good. <laughs> all right. Couldn't get a good grip on it. Okay, a little bit of smoke, not a lot. Hmm. Well, as you can see, it's a very thin tan head. And a dark, dark brown appearance. I don't see but the slightest little bit of brown tint around the edges, but I mean, that is so minimal. All right, let's go with the smell evaluation. That's a weird smell. It smells chocolatey, but yet also some fruitiness like cherries. I don't know what it's flavored with. It's dark and it's roasted, huh? That's an interesting aroma. Let's go with the taste. That's very dark roasted. Dark roasted coffee, dark roasted chocolate, dark roasted barley malt. If you like really dark coffee you and you like really dark toast, I think you'll love this. Not picking up a lot of alcohol, so it really masks the alcohol quite well. Well now. When I agitated it, it developed quite a bit of head. So now we have a creamy um, beige head. So you got to really jerk this thing around. All right, how does it go with the Marishan ramen noodles? Good and hot, of course. Okay, that's from the Eastern Hemisphere. This is made in America now, but it was developed in the Eastern Hemisphere, so <laughs> they go together very well. Boy, that head is almost like a, like it had a nitro widget in it. It's really weird little too big of the bubbles but it sure has that coffee cream in appearance <laughs> that is so roasted I almost think it's a smoked beer it's not but you almost have that impression well this is a very dark green bottle it's olive green and I mean dark olive black olive so I think this dark green bottle protects it because it was absolutely no skunkiness associated with this beer at all. He paid a lot for this stuff. I, I put the receipt somewhere, but believe me, it's expensive. So. That head, I'm telling you, it has such a nitro type 
it even has that coffee flavor you get with the uh, Guinness um, draft. I don't know how, what to make of that. It's so strange, but um, I think it's just great. I mean, it's great. So <laughs> I'm going to give it an A. It's most excellent. And that's all I got to say about it. So if you ever see it, buy it and try it. So les les bon ton roule. This is a most excellent beer. And I'm going to end this review by saying y'all come on down to New Orleans.